folks getting ready for my next trip doing a little bit of rigging on my my kayak here normally when i want to put the paddle down i have the the double header right here that's when i'm in the seated position uh, but when i stand up i need it a little bit higher so what i'm going to show you today and i've already done one of them is uh is this combination right here so I've already done this one. I'm going to show you how to assemble the second one. And I'm going to have one of them here and one of them further forward. Let me show you the parts that are involved and uh, we'll start putting that second one together. So it is summertime and it's really nice to stand up and do a little bit of sight fishing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be doing that on the uh, Susquehanna River for some river smallmouth here soon. Might also get into a little bit of snakehead fishing with the Innovative Sportsman Osprey. Um, such a, a stable inflatable kayak uh, is really perfect for that, but a lot of times when you're upright like that, the mere act of bending down to pick up your rod, your fishing rod, your paddle, whatever it is, when you go down like this and come back up, you're, you're potentially spooking fish. So. The concept here is to, to do some things to elevate the things that I need to routinely touch. One of them is the uh, Torquedo throttle mount. I have this part in here, uh, which is the 8 inch extension arm, and I'm able to swing that upright so, you can, so I can really reach the throttle. Need to be able to do it with my paddle, um, and really, I might build another one just, just for fishing rods. But this is the completed um, part, or you know, collection of parts that fits on right back here on that lock and load base, and uh, puts a nice place. I can, you know, I can put the the paddle shaft there. I'm gonna build one for up there so I can, you know, really have both ends of the paddle upright. So the different components, and I'll go ahead and pull that down so you can see them all together. Um, obviously you have the roto grip, and I got, got the green one, green ones. Um, the extension arm, which we talked about, is right here. And this is a, there's actually two different um, 90 degree adapters. The one that we're gonna be using, it's not this. It's not the one with the round face here, it's the one with the square face. So we'll open that up in a second, but in particular it has the word Mighty Mount in there. So that's important because we got the T-bolt right up in there that's going to fit in there that doesn't fit in there in that round one as nicely. So make sure that if you're going to do this you get the lock and load 90 degree Mighty Mount adapter. not the 90 degree adapter. Uh, the bottom part is just the, the complete base. So you get a, you know, the, the lock and load uh, base, which man, I got these things all over the place for different camera angles, rod holders, everything. So that is this entire assembly here. So let's put this together and then I'll find a place up there to, uh, to put the second one. All right, I took everything out of the packaging. Might help you see it or conceptualize a little bit more when it's not in the bag. There's one part, there's the complete base, the extension, and the 90, the Mighty Mount 90. And of course we have the rotor grip. So I'll start putting those together right now. I will tell you that I, I tend to buy some Yakutag stuff that I don't know what I'm exactly going to do with it. And it's kind of like just having a lot of different Legos when you're a kid. You know, you you have the different parts from different kits and you start putting them together ways that you didn't think of until you got it in your hands. It's uh, it's just nice to have a bunch of, bunch of parts and start coming up with stuff on your own. And, uh, a little bit of what I got going on with this one is had a lot of parts just started uh, started playing around with them so 
These teeth are positive and these are negative. So they fit, they're gonna fit in there, really be complementary, and that's what's gonna keep it locked in a certain position. Um, in the deep hole, you wanna put your spring and on the hole with the square side, which is for this uh, carriage bolt that goes in. Sorry, camera. Um, that comes out this side. Then we put the, the big wing knob in there. Just slide that in. And this is really just, you know, the, the tensioner that makes it fully adjustable whichever direction you want it but the direction I want it is straight up so the lock and load base is already in this and uh, we'll put that on the track of the Osprey here in a second but I'm gonna leave that in there uh, next we're gonna use this side to attach to this part of the, the extension like I said, having lots of extra parts is fun. It definitely helps you, you know, get creative when you, you have a bunch of stuff. But this one with these four parts, I figured I'd just give you this recipe because it's so useful for so many different, um, different purposes to elevate things. Whether it's, you know, a video camera, in this case a paddle. Um, the fishing rod, whatever, park and pole. All right, so this, the T-bolt here, the mighty bolt slides right in there. I'm gonna loosen that, loosen the rotor grip, slide it in and just righty tighty. It's that simple. You can add extra lengths to this. I know that I've already done that with the, uh, Actually, with the throttle, I'll pull this off and you can see I'm really doing the same setup here with my throttle. But this is the piece that came with the throttle. This is the piece that I've added to really elevate it. All right, it's time to find a spot for this. What's nice about the Innovative Sportsman Osprey is that it has this track framed all the way around that is um, it's actually licensed top loading track from Yak Attack. So basically Innovative Sportsman pays pays Yak Attack for the use of the, the top loading that is really just part of, uh, it, it's, it's Yak Attack's patent. So I'm loosening this up. I'm gonna actually not go straight up, but I'm gonna angle it over to match the one I did in the back. And I'll tighten that up. And then this is sort of at an angle, so I'm gonna loosen that up and tighten that down. And uh, that side's ready to go. All right, so going upright, I'm gonna use the, uh, the Rogue Fishing Company strap. Helps me elevate easily. This will be my standing position while I'm, I'm sight fishing. And I'm gonna just check and see, hey, is this, this at a good level? I think it is. Um, yeah, I'm still bending down a little bit to, to reach it, but it's not all the way. It's not just laying somewhere that it could, wind could catch it and it gets away from me. It's got a very well defined, hey, this is, this is where it goes while I'm standing up sight fishing. Uh, the, like I mentioned before, the Torquedo throttle is also gonna be upright. Um, I, I make it so I can adjust it fairly quickly to the upright position and then back down when I'm, I'm seated and I need to go quickly. Now, when I, when I convert to uh, the seated position, this is for sure in the way. This, I can, I can lower it. You know, I can have it in that, that higher position while I am standing, or I can, I can drop it back down so it, it's right here by the seat. So the throttle is gonna stay put. 
the nice thing about the lock and load bases is that when I go back to paddling and this is in the way, all I do is flip the switch on this, it comes off, I can chuck it underneath the seat. This one I probably won't even need to, um, but you know, if I needed to, if, if I decided that it was in the way of my camera angle or anything else, it's, uh, it's pretty simple. You know, you flip the switch here, comes right off, and uh, you're good to go back to the seated position and that double header, which is in the perfect spot for me. Let me show you a couple other things that I'm doing that are, that are uh, some rigging in process. Uh, something for you three percenters that always watch my stuff till end. Give you a little bit of a preview for some other things I'm working on to make standing up in this particular rig uh, even better, especially while the motor's running. All right, so I do need to put the Torquino on to show you what this is, what this special uh, standing up sight fishing custom rigging is and, and uh, how it functions. So I'll set up the, uh, the steering lines here. We got the innovative sportsman uh, foot control steering kit. It runs through the uh, through the frame actually. Put my motor lift on. Not that I really need it to show you what I'm doing, but let's go forward and uh, I'm going to show you what I got going on with my foot control steering, which is about to go hand steering. Not completely. I never get rid of foot control steering, but it's good to have options. So the first thing you should notice is. Uh, What's up with that pedal? It's at a nice angle. This is something, this is a product that's going to be coming soon uh, from Selec Designs, which supplies the, uh, you know, these, these parts to everyone that makes a foot control steering kit, including Innovative Sportsman. Uh, Trey actually put a, a uh, little foam pad on there for me. That, that doesn't come stock, but these angled you know, foot pegs are gonna be coming soon. They're very nice for the angle that our feet reach it, especially we're in these, these higher seating options. But I got something else going on here. What's that? It's another one here. What, what do you think's going on? I'm gonna slide this. I'm gonna slide this up. This is sloppy extraneous i just i just did this at trays like three hours ago clipping that on okay clipping slide this up i really should trim it but i haven't tested it yet so i don't really know if i need that extra length but i'm clipping this on which is not easy one-handed, apparently. I push forward, that slides up, and that moves back. I'm gonna do it the other way with this guy. And it's, I have steering with these. I'm gonna stand up. So it's just allowing me to reach down to this level instead of all the way to this level, which is kind of a hard push, but you get more leverage in pushing. I just made this out of like marine board. So gives you a little bit more leverage. So that's a little preview of the, the standing, you know, hand control steering from the upright position. Let me, uh, Put the tripod up here on the truck and you can see what that looks like. All right, because I'm standing on 14 pounds per square inch PSI uh, platform of compressed gas, it's really stable. But the idea is that I really don't have to reach that far to turn right, to turn left. And I'm not really gonna be doing this at high speed. All 
right, I got everything set up. I got my paddle at this higher position with the two pieces I just built. So I can, you know, paddle from this position. I can even do some, with the bent shaft paddle, some nice sculling draws and uh, place it down pretty easily for those, you know, just little, little push-offs or a little bit of an adjustment and angle. Uh, my big adjustment in the angle is going to be with the foot control steering. These little levers that when I'm not using them, I can't actually stow them down. And then obviously I have my throttle right here to speed up, slow down, or if I need to just pull the kill switch and uh, just drift and cast and look. Look for those smallmouth. Look for the snakehead moving in the grass. But it will be nice to move it. I think, you know, for the most part, I'll be moving at the slower speeds, but I know tomorrow I'm going to test it on the lake, up on Lake Marburg, and do a little bit of full speed uh, maneuvering to see what this, just see how it handles. So, so far I'm pretty happy with it, and, uh, you know, we'll find out what it, what it looks like on the water tomorrow, and, um, you know, appreciate you guys watching till the end. See ya.